Undocking confirmed. Right on time at 3.45 a.m. Central Time, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Soyuz MS-23 on its way with Prokopiev, Patelin, and Frank Rubio on board. I'm turning off the wide angle. Oh, stand by. All right. Send in the command. Air or uh, DECA uh, command is sent. Digital control loop command sent. Fuse uh, power is illuminated. Not a root uh, command sent. Copy. The target is within the four squares. You can see the uh, thruster firings on uh, the MS-23 vehicle under the manual flying of uh, Station and Soyuz Commander Sergei Prokopiev. Agency mode, yes, agency mode. Good back away rate uh, reported by the Russian flight control team. The range is about eight meters currently. Copy. GSO 1 2 and GSO indication on indicator panel 7 are illuminated. Copy. AGC operations are in, in progress. Um, the target is at the center. We um, are not getting a good video, so uh, please uh, report uh, on your actions. Copy that. Range is around 12 meters. Copy. Another good view of the uh, Soyuz MS-23 that undocked uh, from the station just about two and a half minutes ago at uh, 3.45 a.m. Central Time, 4.45 a.m. Eastern Time, beginning uh, to back away above the International Space Station, having uh, departed the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the complex, moving to a distance of between 40 and 60 meters away before uh, it uh, initiates a 180-degree rotation and then uh, it's a fly around of the complex. And they now have a final go from Russian flight controllers for final approach. As uh, the station and Soyuz fly 260 miles over Osaka, Japan, Standing by a great view of the MS-23 spacecraft, now just two meters away from contact and capture. Standing by for docking. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. Docking occurring at 4.22 a.m. Central Time, 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time. Congratulations with the successful redocking. Well, thank you. Please accept our congratulations as well. I'm activating the translational and uh, controller copy. The uh, docking probe now retracting to form a hard mate uh, between Soyuz and Prishal. It was a 37-minute transit from the Poisk module to the Prishal module, a flawless uh, execution by uh, Soyuz commander Sergei Prokopiev, along with uh, his Soyuz crewmates, Dmitry Patelin of Roscosmos and Frank Rubio of NASA. A great job. Also my uh, 
uh, best regards to you guys, and I guess I'll talk to you next time um, uh, during the progress operations. Uh, good luck with all. I'll talk to you next time. Once again, uh, the redocking of Soyuz to the International Space Station's Prishal module occurring at 4.22 a.m. Central Time, 5.22 a.m. Eastern Time. As uh, the International Space Station and Soyuz flew just uh, off the east coast of Japan. Well, inaudible, the time of...